so hello guys today we are going to discuss this problem minimum adjacent swaps to make a valid array and this was uh, like asked in amazon uh, prioritized as top amazon question on lead code so th uh, the problem is something like this that we are given a zero indexed array and we have to swap only the the swaps are only allowed in the adjacent elements and we have to bring the minimum element to the lowest index that is index 0 and we have to bring the maximum element to the last index so in this case index 5 so uh, if there are multiple largest element uh, for example these are two we can bring the for the the last element to uh, the last index so it's not required that we have to uh, like shift all the largest elements and similarly if there are multiple minimum elements only one element is required to bring to the first index and swaps are only allowed for the adjacent elements let me just show you how so for example this is the array so here uh, we have 5 and uh, this 5 that is index 2 and 3 as minimum uh, as maximum and index 1 as the minimum so what are the swaps actually will happen so first of all uh, if we uh, bring uh, maximum to last so 5 and 3 will be swapped so in that case uh, let me write this like this 5 and 3 will be swapped so 3 becomes here 5 becomes here so we have done one and then uh, so first we are trying to bring uh, we are bringing uh, largest to end uh, so now one swap is required that is 5 and 1 so 1 and 5 comes here so two swaps happen and now uh, we have to bring this element 1 to the first so in this case how many swaps uh, are there 1 2 3 and 4 right so for example let me just so we have 1 here and 3 here so it's it becomes three steps then we have one here and five here so four steps and then we have one here and four here five steps and then we have one here and three here so it becomes six steps so now if we see <coughs> the largest element is at last index and the smallest element is at the first index that is zeroth index so number of steps is six and only the adjacent element swaps are required we cannot swap um, non-adjacent elements so this is a very simple question so the approach for this this question is that we need to find all the indexes of the max element and all the indexes of the min element so for example uh, uh, let me just come up here so in this array min element is 1 and its index is 5 uh, sorry so this is the just give me a second let me correct it so this is the min element index so min element index is 5 and max element is 5 and there are two indexes that is 2 and 3 here right so now uh, now the approach for this question is that if we have the last uh, and that is uh, the max element index so max element indexes are 2 and 3 that is the max element happens to be on the left hand side of the min element right so in this case the last min max element is at index 3 and the first min element is at index 1 so in that case what will happen whenever we swap that is 5 will cross 1 so in that case one move is already done that is <coughs> Uh, in this uh, here if we see 5 on the first step 5 comes here now 5 swaps 1 so we are actually moving this minimum element to the left position as well so in that case we have to just subtract the number of steps in the output as uh, like from 1 because in this step we are making largest element to the right and we are also swapping the minimum element one element to the left and that's the all concept here so let me uh, just go through the code so first of all uh, we will iterate through whole of the array and we'll note the all the indexes of max element and all the indexes of the min element so how we are going to do it <coughs> so if uh, we have taken two uh, uh, variables that is min and max so min 
is uh, initialized to max and max is initialized to min we are taking two vector uh, that is min index and max indexes so if element is greater than max so in that case max will replace will clear all the indexes and will push back but if element is equal to the max then we'll just append in that case and similarly for min so finally we'll have a array something uh, max element indexes as 2 3 and min element indexes at 5 as 5 and then finally we uh, what we do is that if the last uh, max element index that is 3 in our case is smaller than the first min element index so it means that uh, the one swap that is um, whenever the last element will move to the, the max element will move to the last element it will swap or it will make the min element one step towards left so that's why this we are doing minus one if this is not the case that for example we have a case something like this we I have uh, tested it as well uh, let me just take it from here okay so where, yeah so let me take this okay so now in this case uh, in this example we have uh, these two min elements and these two are the max elements so now in this case there will be no uh, like uh, the max and min element will not swap so indexes for so this will be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so at the end min indexes will be uh, 2 min indexes will be 3 and 4 and max indexes will be 5 and 7 so now in this case we just see the last uh, max index that is 7 and uh, the first min index that is 3 so in this case uh, the last min max index is not smaller than the first min index so it means that this element will move to the first and this element is already at the last but if it is not there as well something like this so in that case uh, there will be no swap right so 12 will move to the last index and 2 will move to the first index so but if 2 is there and 12 is there something like this so now in this case and and the and the first index actually it should be the first index so it's still there will be no swap 12 will move to right and 2 will move to left but if 12 is here and 2 is here so in that case there will be one swap so we are just reducing that step so where is the code yeah so we are just reducing that step and after that uh, the steps will be equal to the number of steps that is the subtraction of uh, the indexes the last index minus the max back and the uh, this one the front index the minimum index first element right for example let's see here so we uh, found let's see here we found that we have let me delete this okay we found that our max is at 2 3 and our min as at 5 and our steps will be equal to minus 1 we started because we know that there will be one swap from max to min so now the steps will be equal to 1 and 2 so it will be equal to uh, the size which we, which is equal to 6 minus 1 minus back which is 3 so we'll, it will be equal to 3 uh, sorry it will be equal to 2 so 2 steps here 1 and 2 and uh, steps will be equal to uh, the first index that is the the the, the minimum element first index uh, those num those many number of swaps so it will be 1 so it will go 1 2 3 4 and 5 so it will be equal to uh, the first element which is 5 so total will be this is minus 1 plus 2 1 and this plus 5 so the steps are 6 so this is very simple so this one this is o1 and this is on 
so finally we got a solution complexity time complexity is on and space complexity is also on because if there is only one min element that is all same elements one 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 in that case we'll have a vector of on otherwise if there are mins and max equally distributed still we'll have a vector of uh, like n by 2 n by 2 so it will make on so that's all uh, for this one yeah thanks a lot